Hello everyone and welcome to the Glitter Frost season of Royal High and today I'm going to show you everything that I have learned so far about Royal High and everything that you can do yourself. So, oh, what's this? Nice job. Here's a hundred. I don't know what I completed, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. I just launched the game. Also, check out this outfit. This thing is beautiful. This is, I'll show you, in shopping, this is the Peppermint Princess skirt and the Peppermint Princess bodice. And then I also used the sleeves that you get from the advent calendar. I added a bow and then I also added, let me show you, sorry. I also added the fabu Fabulous Fur Boa and and where's the hat? There's also a hat. I've lost it. There's a hat too. I also added the really furry hat. I think it's this one. Oh no. <gasps> I need this outfit too. I have more things to save up for. This is so pretty. I love those sleeves. Okay. Anyway, this is my new Christmas like ball gown and I love it. I just made it before this video. It's so pretty. Okay. Before I go too far into this, let's get started. So the first thing that you can do, there are two chests in the castle's heart. This is the new castle's heart. The lockers are down here. You can use these lockers as well, just like normal. Tidy textbooks is not yet out at the time I'm recording this video, but I hope that it's out soon and I will cover it as soon as it does come out. So there's that. The spinning wheel is also now in the castle's heart. I think I've already spun it for today. I think I have. I think there might be updating as we speak as well. There are fountains down here. All, oh no. Oh, it might update while we're recording. Okay, we're back. I don't know if something updated. We'll find out as we go through it. So you can join the classes all the way around the castle's heart. Right now there is still just musical chairs. I don't know if musical chairs has updated. Let's take a look. As I'm recording, musical chairs has not yet updated. The other thing that has updated though is the front of the castle. And it is so beautiful. I love it so much. I'm just gonna go into like film mode here so you guys can get the full effect. Look at that coming down from the sky. There's like ice Look at this castle though. It's so beautiful. And the board says happy glitter frost. Stay warm. The lake in front of the wishing fountain is also frozen and it's just so beautiful. So let's go on into the castle. We'll go back into the castle's heart. And as you go in, you can see the massive tree on the inside. It's amazing. So as you come into the entrance, you can see all of their Roblox awards. Over here are the top levels. What is that noise? Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Anyway, let's talk about where the chests are. So, <laughs> all right. She's just squirting ketchup on everything. It's so weird. <laughs> anyway, so as you come in, if you're facing the tree, if you fly straight up and you turn the left facing the tree, there's a balcony up here and your first chest is in here. This chest, you're going to get 500 diamonds and that's going to help you start saving for all of these outfits that you're going to want to get. And I honestly am playing so much because I want them all. <laughs> I want all of them. The second chest, you need to go up the stairs toward the Christmas tree, take a left, take another left, and then you're gonna go to the fireplace over here. Now there's two things here I want you to know. First thing is this is currently closed and the reason it's closed is because you need to light it. But before you light it, the secret wall has now moved behind the fireplace and you can now keep trying your code over here. I don't know yet if there is a hint to the secret code. I know that there's been videos and rumors of Barbie saying that there would be some kind of hint and an update at some point. I don't know if it's this one or if it's in more to come. But now that you know where the secret wall is, the next thing you want to do is switch your powers over to your fire powers. So let's quickly switch those. And after you've done that, you want to light the fireplace. And now that the fireplace is lit, the secret door in the top has opened and you can fly up this. So you're not going to burn. Don't worry. This is probably a very highly flammable dress. Oh, come on. Get up there. I know your dress is really big, but you got to go up this hole. Okay. Once you're inside the chimney, you're going to fly straight up. And I look a bit glitchy doing this because my dress is so big. I'm going to turn my speed all the way up to get there faster. If you don't have the flying pass, it's going to take you a long time, but don't give up. Just keep flying. Have some water, hydrate yourself, and just keep flying up. That's all you have to do. We're still flying up. I think we're going up. It's hard to tell with this dress. It's so big. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I see the end in sight. It's coming. We're still flying up. Okay, I'm out. Okay, so now once you fly all the way up the chimney, you can look down. That's the chimney that I just flew out of. There's a chest over here. And this chest, you're gonna get 300 XP. And that's so good. That's gonna help you get your levels. There's another thing you can get though. If you stand on this, you're gonna get a badge. And you're gonna see that over in your planner. You're gonna go over to diary. You'll see all your sticker achievements. And if you scroll down, you'll see it right here. Chimney Surfer. You get Glitter Frost just for joining the game. And then Timber, I'm gonna show you that one next. Okay, once you're back in the castle's heart after flying back down the chimney, you're gonna go up to the tree next. Now, this is where things get a little complicated, but you can do it. And I believe you can do it. And I'll show you how you can. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is open up your backpack. You want to find your hammer. Where is the hammer? Here it is. So you're gonna equip your hammer and you have your hard hat on. You can't really see my hard hat because of my hat. Anyway, you're gonna go over to the back of the tree and you're gonna tip this tree over. Now there's a catch. You can hit this tree all day long by yourself, but nothing's gonna happen. Happen. You need to go in your chat in your server and convince nine other people to hit the tree with you Now I did stream this the other night. I managed to get it So I'm just gonna show you a clip really quick of how that happened So in this video you can see I'm counting how many people that we have because we need ten people We had people coming in from the stream to help We had people in the server coming to help and we all just started hitting the tree just to death hitting it so much I went to look for more people to help us so now we just start hitting it. We go ham hitting this tree. We are gonna tip it and get the timber badge. And you just keep hitting it. And it might take a few minutes, but you just wanna keep hitting it. And there it goes! You see the badge in the bottom right? You get the badge, the tree starts creaking and it tips over. We were so excited! And there you have it. That is how to get the timber badge. You need to work together with yourself and nine other people. So 10 people total hitting the tree with their hard hats on and a hammer. Now that we've covered that, let's have a look at what else is new in the new Royal High Glitter Frost update. The next thing that you're going to be able to see are the dorm rooms. To get to those, they're up the stairs next to the tree. And here we are. Look how beautiful it is. It has their own Christmas tree. There's a Christmas wreath and it's snowing outside. And look how long this hallway is. It's so long. It's so beautiful. This is really pretty. It's going to be really fun because you're going to have more people all on the same floor when you're decorating dorms. Now, at the moment, there's no one up here. I think I've moved over to a private server, but this is beautiful. The next thing I want to show you is the school office is now updated and look at all of the decorations. It is so beautiful. Now you can't walk left anymore. Now there's a school bulletin board and it looks like it's showing all the badges you can get. I don't yet have this badge. I don't know if maybe this is coming out later. Maybe the winter castle is coming. I don't know, but we'll find out. But let's have a look at this. Oh wow, look at her outfit outfit that's so cute oh my gosh anyway look at this it's gorgeous do i have the head mistress mistress quest let's have a look i don't i don't have the head mistress quest okay let's look at one more thing we're gonna go back to the castle heart okay now that you're inside the castle's heart there is something i did notice this morning there is a new quest i don't currently have it but the new quest is to light all of the candles in the castle's heart to warm it up now the way you're gonna do that some of these candles will be out all of these candle albers like this one even these up here it's all only on the first floor but you're gonna walk around and every single candle albra you're gonna check to make sure that it is lit and all you have to do to light them is just click on them once you click on them and all the candles on the first floor are lit the quest will be complete and the very last thing i want to talk about is the advent calendar you click your present you can get three gifts a day the first gift you are guaranteed to get the advent calendar gift now i'm on day three and the way you get a gift to help your friends out is you're gonna go in here and give a gift now i can create a gift for any of these and it looks like i can create another one today so i'm gonna send leah another gift let's do it i sent her a pink one earlier let's send her Ooh, let's send her a blue icy one because it snowed here and we'll say hi leah okay i put hi leah it snowed here today and i'm so happy happy advent day three extra gift so let me send Ooh, let's put some really really flowers on this one. Let's take that one off. Let's do this and we'll decorate this down here and this one. Ooh. Ooh, let's add some pearls going across. Oh, that's not a pearl. That's a flower. Hello? They turn into flowers. What is that? I think I found a bug. <laughs> 
It's okay. It's fine. Uh, can we use these? They're tiny. We'll put some cute little flowers down here. You know what? And that little pearl is little flowers are kind of cute. So I'm going to use those. And we'll put some on her name too because she loves pink. There we go. How cute is that? Now we'll match her gift. So she loves pink. and But this one is themed blue. So what I'll do is theme. I'll make a blue box as close to this color as I can get. Let's see. That's kind of close. Eh, that's pretty close. And then we'll put the prettiest pink ribbon on it. <gasps> Look at that. That's so pretty. Okay, done. Let's send her this gift. And this is how you send your advent day gifts. You can send three of these. No, I think you can send. I don't know how many you can send. Hold on. I'll confirm that for you. You can receive up to three presents a day, but you can send unlimited presents, one per unique person. Somehow I've sent two. I don't know. I also sent my friend, uh, Sayla V one. Her two today? I don't know how I did that. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to do that, but I did. Anyway, this is how you're going to do your advent calendar. It's so fun. And look at all the cute things that you're going to unlock. This is cute. This looks like a stocking tomorrow and I'm very excited. Okay. That is going to be all for the Royal High update so far. I will come back once there is more. Till next time. Bye.